uh, to the channel name Nimish Munishwar. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, go right now. You can see the red button behind this video and click on that and enable the notifications icon so that you will be able to watch our latest videos very easily. So now all of you know that Huawei P20 Pro has been made an official event in Paris. But how does it stack up against the iPhone X, Galaxy S9 Plus and Pixel 2 XL? Here's a quick comparison. The Chinese smartphone manufacturer Huawei has launched the P20 Pro, the company's flagship smartphone of 2018 at a dedicated event held in Paris. The device has an intriguing glass break design and a camera which is designed to deliver a professional grade experience on a smartphone. Huawei is looking to up the game with their P20 Pro but a premium Android smartphone has to compete with Apple iPhone X and the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Then here is the Pixel 2 XL which is arguably known for its camera and clean software. Each device has its own strengths and weaknesses in different areas. But how does Huawei's flagship smartphone stack up against the iPhone X, Galaxy X9, S9 Plus and Pixel 2 XL? Here's a quick comparison between the four flagship smartphones on the basis of specifications, features and price which uh, will uh, give you with a clear idea which should you have why. So first we will see Huawei P20 Pro versus iPhone X versus Galaxy S9 Plus versus Pixel 2 XL basically the design part okay so Huawei P20 Pro has a black glass black and a metal frame similar to the Galaxy S9 Plus but there are some major differences between the two devices the P20 Pro has a notch above the screen whereas the Galaxy S9 doesn't have let me tell you that both the phones have minimal bezels another notable difference is that the Galaxy S9 Plus has a headphone jack while the Huawei P20 Pro doesn't Plus, of course, both the phones also look different in terms of looks. Huawei P20 Pro comes in twilight, pink, gold, black and midnight blue color shades. The Galaxy S9 Plus, on the other hand, is available in midnight black, coral blue and lilac purple. They are also water and dust resistance. Now, the iPhone has, has a modern and eye-catching design, thanks to its stainless steel body and glass back. The device ha does look premium in hands and there is no doubt about it. Many people don't like a notch above the screen, but the truth is that the most annoying feature is the talk of the town. A slew of smartphones have been recently introduced with the notch design like that in the iPhone X. Another missing feature from the iPhone X is the lack of 3.5mm headphone jack. Even though Google has ditched the headphone jack from the Pixel 2 XL and instant features a USB-C audio port, Apple iPhone X can be purchased in either white or space grey color variants. Like the original Pixel XL, Google Pixel 2 XL continues to feature half glass, half metal design. It still has rounded corners and edges that wrap around the phone, surrounded by the front display. The phone is comfortable in the hand, despite having a full screen display. So now, uh, we will talk about the Huawei P20 Pro versus iPhone X versus Galaxy X9 Plus versus Pixel 2 XL, the display part. Okay. So now, Huawei P20 Pro has a 6.1 inch OLED display with a resolution of 1080 into 2240 pixels and has an aspect ratio of 18 to 7 to 9. Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus has a 6.2 inch Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 1440 into 2960 pixels and an aspect ratio of 18 to 5 to 9. Apple iPhone X has a 5.8 inch OLED display with a resolution of 2436 into 1125 pixels and an aspect ratio of 19 to 9. Google Pixel, Pixel 2 XL has a 6 inch P OLED display with a resolution of 2880 into 1440 and an aspect ratio of 18 to 9. All four smartphones have tall displays with minimum bezels. Okay, so now we will come to our third comparison which is of Huawei P20 Pro versus iPhone X versus Galaxy X9 Plus versus Pixel 2 XL hardware and software part okay so now Huawei P20 Pro gets an octa core Kirin 970 processor under the hood it is further backed by 6 GB RAM 128 GB storage and a an micro SD support the Kirin 970 chipset is not only fast but has an inbuilt artificial intelligence computing capabilities Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus uses either a Snapdragon 845 or an Exynos 9810 processor depending upon the region. In India, Samsung is selling the Galaxy S9 Plus with an Exynos 9810 chipset. The Galaxy S9 Plus also has 6GB RAM and another 64GB or 128GB storage. A micro SD card support is also included. Okay. Now talking about iPhone X. The iPhone X is powered by the A11 Bionic chipset. Apple claims the A11 Bionic chipset is 25% faster than the A10 chipset found inside the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus. The iPhone X comes with 3GB RAM, though the RAM, si RAM size is less compared to other flagship smartphones available on the market. 
The device is available in 64GB, 128GB and 256GB storage capacities. Uh, Apple iPhone X runs the company's proprietary iOS mobile operating system. Google Pixel 2 XL is powered by the Snapdragon 835 processor coupled with 4GB RAM. It can be purchased in either 64GB or 128GB storage capacities. However, a microSD card slot is missing. The Pixel 2 XL along with the P20 Pro and Galaxy S9 run on Google's Android mobile operating system. Sorry for that pop-up. Now we will come towards the uh, camera dif uh, the camera difference so Huawei P20 Pro has three cameras on the back you get a 40 megapixel RGB sensor 20 megapixel f slash 1.6 monochrome lens and an 8 megapixel f slash 2.4 telephoto lens the company says that P20 Pro's telephoto lens offered up to 3x optical zoom and up to 5x hybrid zoom the phone has a 24 megapixel front capping for taking the selfies now talking about the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus has a pair of 12 megapixel dual cameras, one of which offers a variable aperture that can switch between f1.5 and f2.4. On the front, you get an 8 megapixel snapper with autofocus, while the P20 Pro has 24 megapixel front facing camera. Apple iPhone X also offers a dual 12 megapixel shooters with the wide angle lens having 1.8 aperture and the telephoto lens have 2.4 aperture. Both support optical image stabilization. Google Pixel 2 XL, meanwhile, has a single 12.2 megapixel sensor coupled with 1.8 aperture lens. It manages an outclass many eccentric cam smartphones with its single shooters. There's an 8 megapixel camera on the front. Now talking about the battery and the wireless charging. Okay. So Huawei P20 Pro has a 4000mAh battery with support for fast charging. It is a bit strange to see that smartphone does not come with fast charging support. Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus opts for 3500mAh battery and the support for the wireless charging is included. The iPhone X has a 2716 mAh battery which will last today on a single charge. Yes, it does not support wireless charging. The Pixel 2 XL's 3520 mAh battery provides a long backup. Sadly, the Pixel 2 XL doesn't support wireless charging. Now we will uh, come towards the fingerprint scanner. Huawei has a conventional fingerprint scanner that is located on the front. The P20 Pro is the first P-series smartphone to feature a face unlock feature that is set to unlock the device in 0.5 seconds. Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus also features a fingerprint scanner that can be found on the back of the device. Samsung also added a feature called Intelligent Scan, Intelligent Scan that combines the both facial and the iris scan. And in the case of the iPhone X, Apple dropped the fingerprint scanner support from the device. Instead, it uses a new typical of facial recognition technology called Face ID. Face ID uses iPhone X, a two-depth selfie camera to analyze over 30,000 invisible dots on the face to create a 3D image. Apple claims Face ID is more secure than the Touch ID. Meanwhile, Google Pixel 2 XL supports both facial and a fingerprint recognitions. Now talking about the final price and availability. So Huawei P20 Pro is priced at a Euro 899 or approximately rupees 7260 for 6GB RAM and 120GB storage. Huawei will start selling the P20 Pro in Europe from April 6 and availability details of Huawei P20 Pro has been not made confirmed for the Indian market just yet. Samsung Galaxy X9 Plus is priced at 64,900 for 64GB and 68,900 for 100GB and 72,900 for 256GB. Apple iPhone X is priced at Rs. 95,390 for 64GB and 1,8930 for 256GB in the Indian market. Lastly, Pixel 2 XL is priced at 73,064GB and 82,000 for 120GB. So these are the basically the comparison of Huawei P20 Pro, iPhone X, Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus and Pixel 2 XL. So basically by seeing these performance and reports, you can now uh, very much sure that which phone you should buy and which not. So uh, this is Nimish Munishwar signing off now and I hope you like this video and share this video with your friends and hit a like button if you have gained anything from this video and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.